If you're trying to make money online with your knowledge or expertise and turn your passion into profits, but you don't have a sound proven business model to get you there, it's gonna be like trying to build a sandcastle in a hurricane. That's why today I'm gonna share five proven ways to make money online with what you know. And the best part is none of them require a team of resources to pull off. In fact, all five of these tried and true models can work as a one person business that you can start building today to turn your skills and research into sales and revenue so that you can do more of what you love and focus more on designing your life rather than simply making a living. Plus, I'm going to share some insider tools that the top entrepreneurs and knowledge industry experts are using to cut their time of building profitable online businesses down to one tenth of what it took just three years ago, thanks to the power of AI and these new tech tools. So grab a pen and paper or a cup of joe and let's start building the blueprint for your new online business. As I mentioned, we're going to be going through five proven online business models here and rather than just simply listing them off for you, I'm actually gonna go through the advantages of each, the limitations, who they're great for, and how to actually get started. All right, so number one is going to be to host an online challenge. This has a lot of great advantages. It's something that's really great for starting out because it's quick and easy to get started, to get set up, and you know get sent out. Additionally, this could be a free or paid challenge. So if you're just trying to you know build your list and get more email subscribers than that, you could do a free challenge where someone just has to sign up on your email list in order to get access to this challenge. Maybe it's a seven day or 10 day thing, something you know short that would make sense to be a free one. Or you could make it something a little bit more elaborate and have it a paid plan, something like you know maybe it's a eight week or 12 week transformation challenge, right? If it's you know something in the fitness niche or something along those lines. The great thing with these is, you know, you're able to provide really quick wins for your audience. You're able to generate leads and sales and you're able to, you know, get things up and running very quickly. So those are some of the advantages of it. When it comes to the limitations of challenges, uh, one of the big ones is that your revenue is going to vary based on participation, right? If this is a paid challenge, then obviously the more people you get signed up to your challenge, then the more revenue you'll be able to generate. Whereas, you know, if you don't get as many people, then your revenue is going to, you know, reflect that as well. Additionally, there's going to be the time commitment for whatever the duration of the challenge is. So, you know, if you're doing a quick start seven day challenge, then, you know, you don't have a huge time commitment with that. But with the other example we used, that was a 12 week transformation challenge, you know, that might take a lot more of your time throughout that whole 12 week period and, you know, more of your personal availability, depending on how you set things up. Another sort of limitation with this kind of depends on your personality and that, but it does really require some strong organization and management skills. You've got to be able to plan out this thing in advance. You make sure you've got everything in order so that it's a smooth, seamless process. And you know, you know what people are doing each day of the challenge or each week of the challenge, depending on what that length is. Again, those are some of the limitations for sure. But again, it's very quick and easy to get going. So definitely a great way to get started in the online space. And now who is a online challenge great for? Well, one, if you excel at motivating and guiding people to achieve a specific goal or skill, this is a really good place. Or if you're just starting out, you know, and you're looking for really quick growth, really quick ability to just execute and, you know, get something out there and either have some free members signing up or have some new paying customers. This is a great way to simply, you know, put something together that has a very limited uh, time to it, a duration to it, get it all together, get it out there and just see, you know, how it performs and how your audience enjoys it. So you've decided you want to do an online challenge. How do you actually go about getting it started? Well, the first step is you just have to define what your topic and what the goal of the challenge is going to be. Typically with an online challenge, like it is a lot more effective if you can have just, you know, one specific goal and if you can relate it to the time frame of the challenge as well. Maybe it's a, you know, four week jumpstart healthy eating challenge. Maybe it's you know, shortcut to playing your first song on the electric guitar, whatever it may be. You just want to define what the topic is and have a specific goal for your audience or your members to complete within that time frame. Obviously, be something that makes sense to be able to accomplish in that time frame. If you're 
you know, a weight loss coach, it probably doesn't make sense to say you're going to lose 100 pounds in 10 days, right? Make sure it's something that is attainable, something that your audience will feel really good about getting that quick win and just being able to really take action right away and get some noticeable results. Once you've got your topic and the goal for the challenge and you've kind of mapped out, you know, what sort of content you want to share or put into the challenge, the next step is going to be to choose the platform to host your challenge. So there's, you know, obviously different ways you can go about this. If you have like a Facebook group, you could try you know, doing it in there. If you've got an email list, you could try doing like an email marketing campaign. Those can work, but it's kind of hit or miss and it's hard to really get that connection and commitment from your members. So the best, the quickest and easiest place to host your challenge is going to be none other than Searchy. You can quickly put together a hub. You can host all your content in there. You can use the AI powered screen recorder tool to be able to record yourself, to be able to record any like lessons or videos you want to include as part of the challenge. And then you'll have it all in there ready to go for your members, right? So if you want to check out more about that, link in the description down there. Once you have that, the next part is going to be to promote and sign up participants. So again, there's multiple ways to go about this. And depending on the size of your audience, this could be an email campaign and you know, creating some hype around this upcoming thing. Maybe you do like a little pre-launch, you know, you get people excited and anticipating something big coming, but you just kind of like tease it. You don't really tell them what it is. And then you kind of leak a little bit more info as it gets closer to it. And then you have a sign up period. This is the open cart time. Go sign up for it, get your spots. Seats are limited, so register now and you know really push people to go and sign up you could do this on your socials as well whether these are story posts or feed posts what have you you could do this at the end of your content as well if you're someone who creates a lot of like video content on youtube and other platforms like that you could have whatever you're talking about in your content kind of sharing information and educating and then say now if you want to take this even further or if you want to get you know 10 times the results in half the time you're going to want to go check out my new you know seven day email marketing boot camp it's a seven day challenge it's 12 dollars, or it's free to sign up or it's 197 dollars, but you get this this and this find a way to work that in and you could kind of sign off your videos with that with that call to action if you want to really increase the effectiveness of this and get a lot more engagement a lot more people participating you can try things like offering incentives you can figure out like what sort of prizes you give for the winner or the top you know, X number of participants in the challenge, you could look into getting sponsors outside of your own business. I will not bow to any sponsor. And maybe like a related industry or something like that, that might be willing to sponsor the prize for that additional sort of like ad share in the challenge. Or you could even work with fellow creators. If you have other creators that are either in a similar space or, you know, something that kind of complements what you're doing it would be really cool to you know create some sort of like joint venture offer or you know some sort of incentive if someone wins your challenge they get something you know free or at a huge discount or something from um, another creator there's a lot of ways to kind of sweeten the pot you know add some additional incentives or prizes in there and really get people excited and amped up to participate in your challenge that was the first of the five best ways to make money online with your knowledge and expertise starting in online challenge. If you're ready to put this into action and want a resource that breaks down all the details for you in a simple step-by-step -step guide, along with a fast action checklist to ensure you've covered all the bases to help you get things up and running in a snap, click the link below to grab our free PDF workbook, The Ultimate Blueprint to Launching Profitable Online Challenges. This blueprint has everything from this video and more to get you started in earning from your expertise in no time. If you found value in this, if it helped you out and you wanna see a part two where I share the next great one-person business model to make money from your knowledge, let me know by commenting, I need part two 
in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you want to get started with the best platform for hosting your content and online business, just click the link below and get started for free with Searchy and see how quick and easy it can be to make money from what you know. And if you want to make the most of any online business you start, you need a consistent, reliable way to get new customers to your digital doorstep. So you're going to want to watch this video where I show you how to turn your existing content into a lead generating machine with the power of AI. Go give it a watch, drop a comment if you want to see part two, and I'll see you in the next one.